this is the eBay server software installation video I will uh, guide you how we can install the software and host uh, over the system first we have to go ssl esssecurity.com for download the eBay server file to install the software we will click download uh, by servers new file now we have to download the sql file to install the sql we will click sql server downloads and we will scroll down there is a express and uh, we have to download the express file now you have server file and uh, sql file is in downloading now we have to enable the is to enable the is we will click on the control panel there is options uh, programs we will click on install a program and there is option turn off window feature on on or off now we have to now we have to enable the necessary permission which is required for the software installation as you can see i am enabling the permissions these permissions are necessary to host the uh, software over the is that's why i am enab enabling the permissions Please take care all the permissions uh, should be enabled and then click over the OK button. Then we ask uh, the two options. We have to click let Windows update download the files for you. Now, uh, now we create a folder with name attendance. Now, I, now we will copy all the files and we will paste in the attendance folder. This is not necessary but uh, uh, this is the best practice uh, to install the software. Now we will uh, move the attendance uh, folder uh, to the other drive. Now we'll paste here. Now we'll uh, inside go inside the attendance software and uh, we will extract the zip file. We will extract the zip file. Click over the extract all and click over the extract. Now we have to install the SQL. Now we will click right click over the SQL and uh, click over the run as administrator. Uh, now click uh, basic and then accept. As you can see SQL uh, and uh, file extracting and is enabling all the are running so we have to wait uh, uh, until it is complete
now the file extracting is completed and then we will create a new folder by the name of the abis server as i already told you that that is not necessary but it is the best practice to install the software successfully without any error now we have to give the permissions to the web server folder we will click over the properties and uh, add and uh, everyone then click over the add and network we have to give the network and everyone permission to this folder and we will click one by one and first option full control and we'll we will check we will select the all the uh, options like uh, authenticated user system everyone network and then we click uh, the full control we will um, give the permission of the full control now is uh, has been enabled now we'll open the is now right click over the sites and click over the Add sites. Now we'll give them this uh, EBS server name. We can give any name. There is not necessary. We have to give the EBS. Now we'll click the classic 4.5 classic. Okay. We have to give the uh, path of the folder of your uh, of our EBS server file, which is uh, which is available in the disk D. As you can see, how we give the path. Now we have to give the port, which is free for the software. Now we click EBS server. Now we have to click, give the and now we we'll click right click and add applications. We will we have to go right down here. I clock and give the same path. and click ok ok now i have to give the permission we will click uh, authentication we have to enable the all the permission accept digest authentication now click back and click uh, default documents and move the default dot aspx to the above all these settings are done now we will click over the browse 8082 click over the iClock and browse 8082 but we have to uh, give the database settings to to the software now we'll uh, open the sql and we have to uh, create a database to open the database settings in this software uh, Yeah. 
We will click I clock and there is options content view to open the uh, software the database setting we click admin and there is option database setting dot ASPX click the dot and uh, browse now you can see database settings are open our software our SQL has been uh, installed now we'll open the SQL database We will search here SQL or S SSMS <coughs> SQL Server Management Studio. We will log in in the software. We log in in the software with the window authentication. Now we will attach the uh, database. We will click the database and attach database. There is, will you open add? Now uh, click the NDB files and select the by server new dot MDF file. Database file, NDB, new file. Click OK. As you can see, uh, this uh, the data this database already uh, available with this name. We have to change the name. To change the name, we will uh, scroll right we have to scroll right and there is a uh, attach as a by server name we have to change this name by the other name now the data database attached successfully now we have to create, uh, create the new login to uh, for login the with the SQL server, we will we will give the n any name any login name and password whatever we want. Give the password and confirm password. And uncheck the info info password key. and click ok for uh, before the uh, click ok we have to uh, no no we have to click the ebay server new to and give the permissions accept uh, deny accept deny we have to select the all the permission click ok And we click the desktop as you can right see, click and our yeah. SQL has been restarted. Now we have to give the all the necessary information to our uh, software database settings. We will copy the desktop, we will copy the server name and we will paste here. And now we have to copy the database name from the SQL database. We will log in through the login pa ID password which uh, we created in the security logins. Now we will click database and we will copy the database name. 
after copy the database name we will have to paste in the database name of the software portion and we will uh, fill the username and password